Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Discount Paper Crafts. Now this month I had the most awesome privilege of using one of Marion Smith's new paper designs. And actually I guess I can't say it's a new paper design because it has been on her site for a long time as a printable. But now it has come into actual print where you can buy it and you don't have to print it from your printer, if you know what I'm getting at. So this um, paper that she's putting out is called The Garment District. It's been probably online where you can print it from home um, maybe about a year. And I have been eyeballing it for like ever. But... Um, you know, just never got around to it. Didn't I have a decent printer, but not the best printer. So, you know, I never did print it out or buy it to print it out. So Kathy's got it in her shop. I'm going to show you the collection. Um, and I'll show you, I bought an extra pack. So I'll show you my pack because it's not all cut up you from being used in the project. Okay. So here we go. Now this paper pack matches beautifully the romance novel collection. Um, I believe you could even use it with the Tea Time collection or, of course, Stand on Its Own or any of the other wonderful uh, Prima packages out there that it would match with. But I know for sure goes along with the romance novel. Okay, so this particular sheet is called Blush. Okay, just gorgeous. You know, I'm all about this paper. Totally oozes romance, vintage, shabby chic. Love it. Here's the back side. Okay. All right. This next sheet is called He Said. This is what I think is so cute. It's kind of got the feminine to this paper and the masculine to it. So the He Said is so cute. I mean, look at that um, little journaling card you can cut out there. So, I mean, this could go for, like, you know, a wedding album. It could go for anniversary. I mean, romance. Pretty much, I mean, you can use anything. Okay, that was the other side. This one is called Remnants. This sheet, this one side has a lot of awesome um, little die cuts and things you can cut out. Beautiful. I mean, look at those old-looking, like, tickets and stuff. Old tags. The dress forms. See how it just totally kind of goes with the romance novel? Love it. Have I said that five times already? <laughs> and here's the back side. Kind of a minty green, I guess. Not real minty, but kind of in that color palette. Okay, and then this one's called Alterations. Again, some more um, spots you can cut out. Okay. Just awesome. I just love this. Love it, love it, love it. How many times can I say that? Okay, <laughs> here's the back side. And this is cool. I mean, you know, it's got some um, that. It's got some scripting stuff on it around the edges. And then when you come down to this side, it's got like a little dress form in the corner. This side has like an old, you know, spool and stuff. Really cool. It's kind of a brown, but it's got like a greenish tint to it. With, you know, and all this stuff is like in blacks and stuff, some grays. This one's called Fitting Room. It's a wonderful stripe with some script kind of behind it and then up in this upper right hand corner, just some beautiful art. Okay, and then down in this lower left corner, you come into this beautiful artwork. Okay, and then here is the back side. So cute. I know! Love it. Count how many times you say love it, or I say I love it. <laughs> this one's called French Line. I love this one, again, love it, because it's got a lot of, you can almost do, you know, some fussy cutting out of it or leave it as the collage that it is. Okay, and then we'll get to the back side. This is really cute with the dress forms and stuff on it, all the different vintage dress forms, some script and stuff on it. Real kind of distress looking. Um, this one called Picture Perfect. Again, some more awesome fussy cutting. I love like the spool and stuff. Love this look. I know. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> love it. 
That's so cute there. And these here actually are kind of like, um, so you can fold them. Cut, fussy cut it out and fold it. And then if you cut this like tag out, you can place like a picture in it. You know, and put it like inside of a pocket or something. Okay, and then here's the back side of this. It's just kind of a real small floral print. And then over in this corner, up pops the beauty. Okay. All right, last sheet. This is called Manhattan. So pretty. <laughs> I can hear my husband laughing in the background watching television. <sighs> Hilarious. Okay, and then this is just kind of like a chevron, a pink chevron stripe. Okay, so this is the wonderful collection I got to work with. Also ordered um, some Prima Flowers, of course. It is the Layla, there we go, the Layla collection. Okay, um, obviously used a lot of them, but it's kind of like browns and grays, almost a little bit of a purplish tint. There's burgundies, some beautiful uh, pinks and stuff in this collection. And then, of course, use the Prima Resin Keys. Okay, and there's a package of five of these. And then this other, um, oh, and then I used a wood die cut from Kaiser Craft. You'll see that on my project. And then the other thing that I ordered um, is from Kaiser Craft. It's, it's a little bit of an older collection. Um, the die cuts, it's called, trying to keep the glare out, sorry guys, on this day. Beautiful die cuts. I just pulled a few out here. Even though it's kind of wedding die cut stuff, it's not all wedding die cut stuff, and I don't know um, easier. I mean, you've got beautiful uh, roses and keys. Goes actually really pretty with this um, garment district. Carriages. You've got um, butterflies. Um, cute little frames and tags. I mean, it's perfect. The greens and the the um, the roses and stuff. I mean, it's awesome how it goes with the collection love the cute little um, tags and things like that. Um, so anyway, there's just a little smidgen. I mean, it's got birds in it. It's got everything. So even though it's on this day, kind of supposed to be like a wedding collection, it can totally be used just all the floral images and butterfly images and things like that in any everyday piece of art. Okay, so now I'm going to move my sign out of the way, show you what I came up with. It's kind of two projects. It was meant to be one came out as two because again my brain moves ahead with my uh, fast thought pattern and then when I go to put it all together I'm like huh well that didn't quite work <laughs> so I had to kind of make it into two things so the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I wanted to do is I bought a um, photo display stand from um, Michaels and it's the one where it's a smaller stand and it hangs like eight by eight page protectors on it and then um, what you do is decorate page layouts, put them in the page protectors, and then they flip over on this wire stand so you can display your, you know, your pages you've decorated. But of course, I didn't do that. I took the 8 by 8 page protectors off. And so I went ahead to create, I'm going to bring it into view, um, three pages that sits on the stand, okay? I'll move my camera up. But when, and I wanted all three pages to, of course, be on one side. And this is going to somebody that I don't know really well, but she is the sweetest thing ever. She asked me to create a project for her for her birthday. She wanted to pay me to create a project for her. And I had no problem with that. That was back in like, July or August or something and I still hadn't got around to it and it was end of November and I wrote her back and I said I will create this for you but my time management is poor you're not paying for anything so this is a gift to her because she had to wait so darn long for it um her name is Letty. She's my little sweet peas here on YouTube. Um, anyway, so, and what I wanted to do is to create three kind of hanging pieces of art that would all hang on one side of this photo display that you see in front of you. But when I got all three pieces hanging here 
it wanted to tip forward because you all know me and my art is not flat. It's very 3D, okay? So what I did is I took two of the pages and I made this so it was two-sided art. So you can look at one side or flip it and look at the other side. And in the last page, which is another heart, I created two hearts in kind of an oval shape page. The last one, I made it kind of like a wall hanging. Okay, that's what I had to do with it because I just didn't feel like trying to weight one side down on the stand to keep it from tipping, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the one side and obviously you're gonna get a far away view and then I will move it in as I usually do for you and we'll get a good look at it closer up. This is the other side. Okay, am I? There we go, here I am. I wanna make sure I'm in view here. Okay, this side is a pocket page here. It's got some quotes and stuff in there. I printed um, a couple of them I made up and uh, one I heard on a movie I watched recently and I thought, well, that's just so pretty. So I printed it up on a card. Anyway, so there's this. So um, I'm trying to figure out how we can view this. All right, I'm taking my camera. Actually, you know what? Let me bring out the wall hanging first, okay? Sorry about this, you guys. And let me show you the other little piece and then we'll go in closer on that and then I'll take my camera off the tripod and show you this piece, okay? So this is what I came up with, two of the pages, okay? See, and so she can, whatever side she wants to display, she can. So they both hang from each side. And this is, you know, if you had those album pages, they would flip over the top so you could view each page. Okay. All right. So there's that. And I'm going to bring in now the little wall hanging. All right. Here we come with the wall hanging. Okay. So here is the wall hanging. Okay. I made one of those cute little hangers to hang it from so she could hang it on her wall. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of lay this down a minute and we're going to adjust my camera up and down. There we go. So I can get a better view at it and I don't have light shining in my eyes and we'll take a better close up look. So like I said, I created one of those little um, hangers Okay, and just add a wire and I'll show you the backside a little bit better. And then I just took, you know, everything's textured. Yes, ladies and gents, back to some texturing. So I textured that hanger all up. And then I just used some of those uh, little clips you can get at like, um, you know, fabric stores or craft stores or whatever. I textured those up to hang this from so she could unclip it if she wanted to and didn't want to use the hanger for some reason. So on the front of that, I've just got this little bow from my stash and in here is just a little Prima Resin Angel, of course. Let me quickly show you the back so you can see the hanger. There we go, see, so there's the hanger design. Okay, now, remember I said that this paper goes wonderfully with the romance novel, The Garment District? That's what I've used on the backs of all my pages here is the romance novel, okay? Of course, I distressed all the edges and sewed everything, okay? So there's my little hanger. I know, cute! All right, and then let me bring this up and just kind of get a little look at it up close. I'll move this bow out of the way here. There we go, move this bow out of the way. There we go. Okay, all right, so let me bring some lighting in here a little bit. Okay, so beautiful garment district paper on the back. And then behind it here, I've got these Melissa Francis resin wings. Okay, and then over the top of that, I just did a lot of layering like I usually do. Um, I've got a cute little um, polka dot rosette flower here. Um, you know, fabric flower. And I've got, of course, a little XO from my stash. And this is a little Prima um, light post thing there. Down the side here, I've got the Prima um, numbers that say 777. This is kind of twofold because, you know, I made this for Letty. And of course, we know that my YouTube name is Faith Chick 777. But also, I know that Letty is a. Um, very much has God in her life. And 777 is talked about often in the Bible. So I wanted to feature those numbers on there. And then I've got a little mini key here. 
Okay. Um, in the back here, I have a Tim Holtz little clock key there. Um, these little die cuts here is from that Kaiser Craft collection I showed you. See, just cute floral and birds. So see, it's not, it doesn't have to be for wedding, like I said earlier. And then I've got a lot of Wild Worker Craft flowers coming around. These are little I Am Roses crocheted flowers. Um, this is one of the flowers from that Prima pack I showed you. I've got a little um, heart gear here. Little Ingville Bohm Heart Gears, I believe it's from her collection. This is a little, uh, is this Prima little bird cage? Down here I've got, of course, the water faucets. You guys know I love that, and it's dripping water onto this little um, wooden sentiment here from my stash. When I followed my heart, it led me to you. And then, of course, I've got love down below. It's just a little wooden love word, and I used the Tim Holtz white crackle paint to crackle it up and then added some texture paint on there. Shimmered everything up, which is kind of hard to see, I know. Underneath, you can't really see it a whole lot, but this is a little heart-shaped paper doily. Um, someone gave these to me, and I apologize. I cannot remember for the life of me right now who gave these to me, but these are cute little tiny heart-shaped doilies. And then I've got a little light bulb here, another one of those die cuts. And of course, more little flowers. This large, beautiful flower is Odette Flower. That is from Kathy's store. She does have these in stock. Excuse me, little glue string. Um, and these are the Cherry Frost. Beautiful kind of rose pink color. Got it. Did I mention my little XO from my stash? Yes, you know it's in there. Um, on top of that, um, Odette Flower is, of course, the Prima Clock Face with the Prima clock hands and I textured those up and then this is the little Prima resin heart that comes in the package of just the um, two different uh, wing styles and then it's got a little heart in the center and I textured it all up okay so there is my little uh, wall hanging right okay so now we're gonna move on to my other little display stand. All right. I just don't know what to call it yet. <laughs> well, I guess I know what to call it when you're opening this video and you see a title on it, huh? All right, here we go. All right. So I'm going to start on the other side because, uh, you know, we just looked at a heart-shaped page, so we're just going to look at another heart-shaped page. Okay. And, um, of course, let's go ahead and take my camera off the tripod and... See if we can't get up close and personal here and do this all one-handed, all right? Without too much wobbly. So I'm going to tip to the side just a bit as I release. Okay. Hey, that wasn't too bad, huh? Not too bad of a release there. And move my tripod out of the way to the side of me. And let's get up close and personal. So the stand, like I said, um, I believe I got it from Michaels and it was like a, a bronze color and I just simply textured the whole stand up so you can see all the texture there. I again will just go to it real quick, use the little clips like I did on the other little heart hanging here. So these could actually come off if for some reason she didn't want to hang these on here anymore and wanted to hang, you know, a couple of little you know, eight by eight page layouts or something like that, you know, she could totally use this for the use. These um, actually will unscrew. These are where you would unscrew and put like, um, you can add other things to it. But these I've made them so that they should just be able to pop off without unscrewing that. So there is the stand all textured up. Okay. All right, let's start at the bottom down here. I just added a bunch of little, you know, Wild Record Craft flowers. Um, this is just a little, uh, I believe, Recollections kind of, I cut it in half. It's off of one of the little, um, um, why can't I think of what it is? It's a flower vine, but it's kind of those, you know, crystal looking flowers. Okay, and all these, I've got my little XO going on in there. Okay. It's a cute little stand. I love the shape and designs of it. Okay. We'll go up to the tip top. Both sides, because I wanted it to match from either direction. I've got like this bow. And of course, this is the same bow I had on that other little heart hanging. So I've got a bow on this side and a bow on the other side. Two bows, so it just kind of, you know, a mirrored image. And up at the top, I've got some flowers and then a little nylon butterfly. Okay, and we haven't got a good look at this, so I'll kind of pan down and around it, and then um, we'll go through and give you a little bit better look. 
Now the shape I use for this is from one of the Bow Bunny chipboard albums. And I've done it before and I've talked about it in my other videos. I will often buy these um, shaped albums. You know, they're all different kind of eclectic pages and I'll use them for patterns. I'll trace them on a chipboard and then make my own shape. Okay, so there's this one. Um, here, let me tip it up the other way. On the back, I've got romance novel, but there now you can see the shape of that page, okay? I mean, it's just beautiful um, paper that goes with the romance novel. And when I take this out, you'll be able to see. Let me take the little tags out real quick. I added bunches of tags so you can kind of see the paper I used from that collection. Okay. All right. Just kind of giving you another look up here. Now up. What I did is created a pocket, as you can see, because I pulled tags out from both of the sheets of paper. I believe I used, yeah, there's this one sheet here, and then on the front I used one of the collage sheets for the pocket. Okay? Um, along the front of the pocket, I've just got some lace from my stash. There's a couple. I've got this one lace here, a beautiful kind of scallop crochet lace, and then I've got a little puffy heart trim. And then this is a tiny little rosette trim that Miranda gave me in our swap over a year ago, and I have been hoarding it because the size that you see here, I mean, it's probably, what, eight, nine inches? She just gave me a little sliver of it, and I have been hoarding Recording this, like I said, finally used it. It had like lace behind it and I pulled the lace off, but um, this project was just begging for it. So I went ahead and used it. So Letty, you're a very special woman to receive this. Okay, so up at the top here, this is the Kaiser Craft wood shape that I got from Kathy's store. I couldn't show you at the beginning. It is just like a, um, a chandelier, not a chandelier, like a lamp post, not a lamp post either, candelabra. Thank you. <laughs> My brain's working. It's just a little candelabra shape, and I've kind of got it glued in there. Okay, and then we'll kind of come down to the bottom. Um, this is a great big, just like recollections flower here, and then I've got a little um, acrylic butterfly in the center. Acrylic spray, that's what's down here. <laughs> acrylic flower spray. <laughs> I knew it'd come to me at some point. Um, anyway, so an acrylic butterfly. And then this is just some of the die cuts from that uh, Kaiser Craft collection. Okay. And then I've got a bunch of different flowers and stuff in here, just like I'm using Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are from that um, Prima flower collection that I got from Kathy's store here. I think it's all on the other side. This is one of the Prima resin keys in here. And now I'm going to just go this way just a slight, and you can see the little um, um, Ingvil Bohm gear here I've got going on, those little heart gears. Behind this little bird here is just a little wooden Roman skeleton clock from my stash. And then I've got this is a bead landing uh, clock key or a clock hand. And then this is a Prima clock can and I just um, used the acrylic it's acrylic paint mixed with sand if you don't know that to texture it up with and then that is a little Prima resin bird that I got from Kathy's store that is a little bow it's from a bow trim that Jayzella had gifted me in a recent rack and I just cut it off of course to use as a bow and then from the center of it I hung this little lock charm okay all right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna kind of fan down to the little tags down here that came out of the pocket. So this is one. Of, this is from the paper collection, the Garment District, and this is the um, Eternity is where true love exists. That is the little quote that I um, heard in that movie. I just thought it was so pretty, and I sewed and distressed it up. And you can see the back side. So it's nice that it's double-sided, of course, because it all matches very nicely, and you don't have to try and cover the back. Um, this is just one of the die cuts from that collection. Super cute. Oh, there's one over here that kind of fell out. This is a little die cut also from that collection, a cute little vintage chair. I just love that. Okay, and then here are a couple more quotes. It says, love encompasses all time and resides in the destiny of the stars. Okay? Yeah, I made that up. 
seriously okay and here comes another little um, die cut both of these are die cuts from the garment district life is about timing and love is in everything within the heartbeat of each moment I know life is about timing and love is everything within the heartbeat of each moment uh-huh I made that up too because I'm a romantic at heart. You all know it. So there's my couple of quotes I made up. <laughs> anyway, so those go in the pocket. And if she didn't want to use those, and maybe, um, you know, Letty wanted to put a couple of personal photos in there, she could. I kind of pictured her maybe putting a couple of personal photos in there and then adding maybe some of these, um, you know, cute little quotes in with her photos just to give it something. Okay. All right. So there is that side. And let's move on to the other side. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Okay. Like I said, I mirror imaged the bow. So here's the bow on this side. And then up at the top, I've got, again, just some Wild Orchid Craft flowers and then a cute little acrylic bird here. Okay, and then this is a little heart shape here. I cut out. We'll kind of move in a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer. I know such pretty paper. Have I said that like a hundred times? I know. Super cute. Okay, let's start down at the bottom. Down at the bottom is just another wood word. It says inspire. And again, I just uh, used the Tim Holtz white crackle paint on it, added a little texture paint to it. And then I added just some pretty flowers down here, Wild Oak Craft flowers, a little uh, nylon butterfly, and then another Ingville Bulm heart gear. Okay. All right, so there's the bottom, and then up to the top on the heart. Um, up here, this, it says, A loving heart is the beginning of all knowledge. This is a quote from the die cuts, the Kaiser Craft die cuts I showed you. And then right around here, this is the um, um, water pipe parts from Prima. Okay, and I used it like a frame. All right. And then on this side is the Prima, uh, one of the Prima Resin Angels we've all seen. Over here, amongst, these are all like Wild Orchid Craft flowers and stuff. This beautiful, huge flower and this huge, curly flower. Are this the flowers from um, the collection I showed you at the beginning that I got from Kathy's store, the Layla Prima Layla collection. Beautiful colors. And then I've got a little Ingville Bohm um, heart gear in here, heart-shaped gear. Let me kind of tip it this way so you can see down here. A bunch more flowers and stuff. This is just some uh, lace from my stash. This is um, another one of the Prima Resin Keys. Okay. Um, this is one of the Prima Type the type Zippers. Zip, what is it called? Oh, I have to write these things down because I get... Yeah, typo zippers. Got to write them down because I get to filming and then all of a sudden my brain goes blank. Um, these are from Kathy's store. She has them in stock. I've got a little uh, bow down here at the bottom. Okay, a little lace bow from my stash. Down here in the corner, you can just see it right there. This is uh, from Ingville Bohm, one of her new resin pieces. And I had to write that one down too. That is the... The Junkyard Findings, the Rose Heart Corners, and I believe those are still in Kathy's store. Okay, so that's one of the little resin corners. Beautiful rose print pattern on it. Okay, so coming over to this side, this is one of the butterflies from that Kaiser Craft die cut collection. Okay, and then coming up with some more flowers and stuff. This little uh, thing is just a little wooden... Uh, music note from my stash. Just thought that was cute in there. Kind of went in with all of it. Okay. So there it is. N um, not really complicated in design, but you know a lot going on. Kind of back up here a little bit so you get another look at it. And then another look again at this little wall hanging. Okay. Um, there will be close-up pictures on my blog with direct links to the products that I have used from Kathy's store. Um, and, of course, the link down below to Kathy's store. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.